are you tired of trying to figure out if your ER collets are any good? If the ones you are buying are high quality? Well, let's go over a few tips and tricks you can look at as you buy your collets and decide for yourself what quality you are getting. Tip number one, really easy for you to take a look at. Look at the slots themselves. Are they straight across the top of the collet? Are there any steps inside them? Was more than one type of cutting tool used to make that slot? Believe me, it's very obvious. Here are a few pictures that show you what to look for. In this picture, you can see that two different size slotting wheels were used to make the collet slot. You can see a definitive edge where it went from one size to another. Not the best options for consistency and collet runout. In this picture, you can see that one edge of the slot appears to actually be crooked or have a step in it. Believe it or not, this is made the same way as the previous collet we looked at. Two different wheels. The problem is they couldn't get the alignment right. This leads to material inconsistency, different material in the slots, and the collet will have TIR or run out. In this last picture, you can see what a Regofix slot looks like. Consistency all the way across, smooth, unsharp edges, just the way a collet is supposed to be made. Tip number two. What surface finish does the collet have? Is it bright and shiny and smooth, or is it rough and have a turned surface finish? That surface roughness equals friction in your assembly. It does affect how much clamping force you have. Here are a few pictures up close. In this first picture, you can see the raised edges of the collet surface finish. Each one of those raised edges is friction and it's going to resist the collet being pushed into the collet cavity. That's going to create run out and reduced clamping force. Here with this collet, with the polished surface finish, you can see you will have less friction to push the collet into the collet cavity, resulting into more contact area of the collet to the collet cavity, better TIR and increased clamping force. Tip number three, what's that slot look like? If you look into the collet, you can see there are several slots. Look into the bottom of the slot. Is it machined all the way across so that it's cut with a high quality diamond type tool? Or does it have an arc inside of it where it shows an actual arc of the wheel coming through? If it has an arc, you're talking old manufacturing, abrasive wheel grinding, and inconsistency in slot length and slot geometry may not be the collet you want to use. My name is David McHenry. Thank you for watching.